Aloha and welcome to the 2011 AN Annual Meeting in Honolulu, Hawaii. My name is Jay McBride and I'm today's press conference moderator. We're joined by press here in attendance in Hawaii as well as those by conference call. And today we welcome Dr. Vera Brill, lead author of the AN's newest guidelines titled Evidence-Based Guideline Treatment of Painful Diabetic Neuropathy. After Dr. Brill's presentation, we'll take some questions, first by those in attendance here in Honolulu, and then from those on the phone. Please use the roving microphone that uh, Heather will have, and if you could just identify yourself and your media outlet uh, before you ask your question to Dr. Brill, that would be appreciated. So um, just a reminder that this presentation is under embargo until 4 p.m. Eastern. That's 10 a.m. Uh, Hawaii time today, Monday, April 11th, 2011. Without further ado, welcome Dr. Brill. Thank you very much and good morning to you all. Um, it's a real pleasure to be here uh, presenting the guidelines on the treatment of painful diabetic neuropathy or PDN because this is a major problem to patients with diabetes. As many as 16% of them have PDN and many of them don't have proper treatment. As we emphasize the use of evidence-based guidelines to treat different disorders, it becomes clear that this field is very confusing because of the volume of literature. So the guidelines uh, have been developed and will provide a framework for physicians to use when they're treating their patients. Physicians can understand what the evidence is for the treatments they'll use, when there is evidence, when there isn't, or when the evidence is negative. The American Academy of Neurology decided in 2007, along with the American Association of Neuromuscular and Electrodiagnostic Medicine and the American Association of Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation, to develop these guidelines. We struck an author panel and went ahead and did the research. We found over 2,200 papers dealing with PDN and treatment of PDN. Um, our author panel divided into teams, reviewed the abstracts, and identified 463 papers that were relevant to this guideline. We divided into author teams again and reviewed all of those 463 papers and identified 79 that were highly pertinent to the guideline. Each of these 79 relevant articles were rated by teams of two as to class of evidence for eff uh, efficacy or effectiveness in treating PDN. If those, that team disagreed, then a third person would arbitrate. So there was an extensive review process to identify articles in the literature um, that dealt with treating PDN. We talked, the articles had to treat PDN, they had to clearly state what the intervention was, what the treatment was, they had to clearly identify how the patients were randomized, how the um, treatment was masked, and how many subjects completed the study. The article had to clearly define what the outcome was that was measured. And then we also considered factors such as side effects, physical function, and quality of life. So we're very proud to have identified the list of medications that can be useful and that those that are treatments that we don't think are very useful and you'll find these in the guidelines in a summary table um, so that we have a lot of options to treat patients with. We use anticonvulsants, antidepressants, opioids and other agents. We also can use capsaicin cream, uh, isosorbide dinitrate spray or TENS to relieve pain for these patients. And then there's a list of medications and treatments that are not recommended because the studies were negative. So we're quite relieved that this is done because it was a huge project that took three years. <laughs> and then uh, after it was finished, it was extensively reviewed internally by the uh, academy and then by the other two organizations, and back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And there was a lot of peer review going on. Then it was sent to, to the boards. They approved it. Then it went to the journals, and they also got external peer review. So this process was um, a very 
uh, large-scale peer-reviewed activity with a lot of input uh, from many, many physicians, expert in the field. And I think that's what I want to say, and I would turn it back to Jay. Okay, we can take some questions from here in the gallery. If we run out of time, uh, Dr. Brill will be available after the briefing. <laughs>